pit work, keeping it fresh is, I think, one of the hardest things to do. I mean, so far at this point in my career, the longest run I've done of something is four months. So um, I think actually having time off is really important. One of the best pieces of advice um, for me was from my friend Freddie. And he said, every night, improve something that you didn't like the night before. And every night you'll be fixing and it'll be getting better and better. Um, I also think learning consistency is really a massive thing with pit playing, being able to be consistent and play the same thing every night, but in a, in a way where it's like someone's hearing it for the first time. And you have to remember that, you have to tell yourself that, that every person in this audience or most people in this audience have never heard this before. I got into pit playing at uni, um, I was doing the classical course but I ended up doing um, Legally Blonde and West Side Story and that sort of thing in the Palace Theatre in Manchester um, and I realised that actually I really love it and it's definitely my personality because it's uh, I like I like being with other people. I quite like being in that sort of small group of people and we're all working as a team. I, I love that. Musicals just makes me happy and makes me smile. All the West End stuff, it's not really auditioned. Um, it's, it's just who you know, being there at the right time, being in the right place, being a dep. Um, so yeah, that's really where I met all the sort of contacts I have now. And um, you sort of just go from there really. Um, so with how far in advance you get the music, it does vary. I think that as classical musicians, that's where we excel in the UK. We're good sight readers. Um, a lot of orchestras in other countries, they spend a week doing a rehearsing for a concert where we'll spend two days doing it because we're, we're good at sight reading. Um, you have to know who you're playing with um, at what point. So is it just me here? Am I playing with a cello? Am I playing with keys too? Often, especially with string players, we're pretty much always now in pit work doubled by a keyboard because there's only one violin rather than a section of six um, or whatever it is. So you have to know who you're playing with. Um, it's really, really important. And then sort of towards the first band call, um, often there are changes, cuts and things like that. Um, and sort of in the way you've prepared, you will have phrased something a certain way and you have to be aware that that might be changed and it's not a personal thing against you, it's just the preference of your MD or the preference of the director or whatever. So you have to take those sort of things not as a, a personal, I, I don't like the way you played that and more as just of a kind of, that's not how I want it and that's, that's okay. Um, so you have to be able to be versatile and change the, the style of something you're doing or more vibrato, less vibrato, whatever it is, the MD is always going to have an idea of how it is in their head and you have to help them create that. So. You, cannot, you can't be selfish in the way you play. So you've got to be sociable, hang out. So yeah, you have got to get along with people. And also I think for employability, it's really important to, to be a nice person. And you know, I know plenty of MDs who will say that they would rather hire someone they like than someone who is the best concert violinist they've ever heard in their life, because it's not, it's not about that. You don't, you don't want to sit in a pit with someone who's not going to talk to you. Um, so yeah, you have, to, you have to just be able to get along with people. Uh, it's really about dealing with the pressure. And for me, that's been a big thing as well. Learning to deal with nerves again. The main difference I think with pit stuff is really it's rhythm and you have to be with a drum kit. It's something that really violinists get a bad rep for as well. <laughs> You know, we have the the constant on running joke, oh you're a violinist, you can't play in time. You know, and I personally would really love to not have that, you know, that that label put on me. So I try really hard to kind of not rush or or not pull back too much. I think in orchestras a lot of the time you find you get a downbeat and then you hear the sound of a string section. Um and in pit music you just can't do that because the sound of a drumstick hitting the drum is an instant thing and if you're not playing on that beat then you're behind. Really sort of essentials for a show, things to bring with you obviously, your instrument and always pencil and rubber, always. Um, they always go missing as well so more pencils the better, um, you always end up giving them to someone and never seeing it again. Um, Definitely your in-ears in case you ever need them, even if you're on a show where you don't, you don't need them. Sometimes it's just 
good to have them there. Um, for me, a good book. I love, I love to read a good book. Um, sometimes you have 10 minutes before you play again and the more you play a show, the more you know your, your vocal cues to when you need to put your book down. Um, and sweets for me, uh, <laughs> quiet sweets, not rustly sweets. Pit blacks is a kind of phrase people will use and it's basically casual blacks. Um, so you can try and go long sleeves so there's not too much of your sort of skin colour on show because they obviously want everything to be dark. Um, but yeah, you can wear trainers generally. Um, obviously it's down to each and every individual pit.